All right, I'm going to I'm going to start um a few sort of general updates uh before we get into all the all the different uh products and releases. Um the first one is was the the Indonesia Diecast Expo. Uh this was a couple weeks ago. Um I at the pleasure of uh, traveling to Jakarta for the first time um, to, to attend this uh, particular event. And uh, I had an amazing time, uh, really, really amazing time. Um, uh, the people there were, were just amazing, uh, extremely warm. The event had a lot of people coming, uh, a lot of diecast fans, a lot of monocar fans. It was the first time for us to also host uh, a booth there. Um, and so got to meet a lot of collectors. Uh, people were just extremely warm um, uh, and, and, you know, uh, coming across to, to, to me to, to talk, uh, to take a photo, sign autographs, all those things. So really a big, huge thank you to everybody in, in Indonesia. Um, it got me also really motivated in terms of um, doing what we do and also coming over, coming over uh, just for the event. Uh, so I, I hope that we can do another event actually before the next IDE uh, we're already talking to our distributors hopefully something in March and April something like that um, uh, and uh, so really really again hope to see everybody there again so huge huge thank you to everybody who came everybody who uh, came and said hello and all those who, who couldn't make it to the event but actually sent us a message so uh, really big thank you um, to 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 the to also our distributors for for uh, hosting us as well and to the to the folks at IDE for uh, organizing this um, this event uh, next up on the agenda is um, our next event which is uh, Macau Grand Prix actually which will start this Saturday um, is this is the 70th anniversary so there are two weekends so it's starting this Saturday and Sunday and then next Thursday to Sunday so it will be a six day uh, gigantic event for us is our home race it's a race that I've been going to since I was a, a, a small child so it, it, it's it's where it kind of got started uh, in terms of my passion for racing um, so it's definitely a huge event for us um, a lot's going on for for us uh, for this uh, particular event we have the booth uh, selling booth in the air uh, in the area across from the ferry terminal they call it area a is the main basically the main area uh, when you go into the grandstands um, so we have an, a booth there we're setting that up uh, we have of course as, as you saw probably uh, we're sponsoring uh, the Audi R8 LMS uh, Evo 2 uh, with the Hello Kitty livery driven by our good friend Adelie Fong. So uh, he will be racing next weekend, so the second weekend um, at the FIA World Cup, which will, which is just a gigantic GT3 event. Uh, a lot of the major players will be will be there. Uh, Ido Motara, Mauro Ango, a lot of the the, the top top. Um, GT3 uh, drivers from all around the world, factory teams coming, Audi, BMW, uh, AMG obviously, um, Porsche, Ferrari, you got basically all the big brands uh, coming so it's, it's, it's a huge event. Um, I'm just glad that COVID is over that we can so that our team and myself included can actually go over to Macau um, uh, to watch the race. So I'll be there from uh, next Friday to Sunday three days basically uh, so hope again whoever can come uh, definitely looking forward to meet all of you and um, to meet the collectors meet the drivers the teams all of that stuff so uh, I just really excited um, uh, that we we get to participate in in this event um, so after Macau will be uh, Malaysia uh, December 17th it is uh, uh, our our partners over there, Two Monsters, their second anniversary. It's their second anniversary, and we just celebrated our ninth. Um, so I'll be there uh, on December 17th to meet everybody. Um, I'll be bringing some goodies, some samples, some gifts as well. Uh, we'll we'll uh, slowly um, kind of unveil the, all of those uh, kind of later on. But uh, uh, for, the, for the collectors and fans in Malaysia, I'll be coming to see you uh, on the 717th, so please mark that date. I think it's a Sunday. Um, 
and then uh, the the next sort of item is is IG live. So we've been doing these these IG lives for for quite a while now. I think over a year now. Um, while it's great, you know, it, it's very product driven. Is 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 tons of cars to cover. I think is 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 fantastic. But the, I think I want to kind of get more personal, get more sort of um, uh, uh, organic. Uh, have, have a, you know, kind of organic off conversations, answer your questions, talk about anything. Basically, not just cars, not just motor cars. We can talk about those, of course, but um, anything about life that, you know, we can also kind of chit chat about. Um, more casual, I might be drinking a beer, I might be drinking a highball, I don't know, uh, just having a having a drink um, and, and just chat. So these will be ad hocs. I don't know when's the next one. Um, I probably won't tell you when I'm going to go live. Uh, so just look out for the notifications on IG um, and uh, subscribe to our channel, you know, our IG, obviously. And um, and we'll get this started uh, maybe in a couple of weeks. I don't know, after Macau or before Macau. I don't know. Again, super ad hoc, super organic, no preparation, basically. Just basically a very personal chat with all of you, um, and I'm looking forward to that. I don't know how it's gonna go, uh, but uh, let's see. Let's 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 take that journey together. Um, so without further ado, we'll go into the cars. We have a ton of cars to cover, so I'm gonna kind of hope to fly through all of this. Um, so the first uh, batch of cars that we're gonna go through is the Macau GP uh, 2023 uh, specials. Um, these will be available. This Saturday uh, and Sunday at the Macau GP booth, and then of course next uh, weekend on uh, starting on the 16th, next Thursday to Sunday at the Macau booth as well. So let's get right into it. Um, the first one, of course, is the the one that we are uh, sponsoring, which is the Audi R8 LMS GT3 Evo 2. This is the uh, Macau Grand Prix 2023. This is the presentation version, um, and and you might ask what what is the difference. So you will see that big fifty sign on the back, um, and and also in the front uh, windscreen, the fiftieth anniversary. Um, they there there is there isn't the driver's name here yet. Uh, there are some uh, um, organize organizer stickers that are not here yet uh, because again we we didn't have time to wait for those, so we. Are uh, just going to launch with this uh, version first uh, that we design. Uh, I would say 85 to 90 percent of this will stay in the car for the race version. There will be some different changes uh, for the race version, but so so we'll release that as well later on. But uh, we wanted to have this car ready uh, at the booth at the time of the race. Um, so so this is the presentation version. Um, uh, again, our good friend Edley Fong uh, was really kind enough to sign um, a hundred of these signatures uh, of his signatures on the on the base plates. So those will be randomly placed inside the box. You you cannot see it because it's, a, it's an enclosed box. So um, hopefully you'll be the, one of the lucky ones to to get uh, one of his um, signature bases, and they will come in. Um, uh, silver and gold pens as well and, and in different sort of allocations so um, trying to make this fun trying to make it uh, uh, you know the collectible value kind of um, uh, for you guys so uh, be be on the lookout for that uh, as well second car we have is also an RD R8 uh, which was competed last year um, for those who are into Macau racing you know uh, Ido Motara, he's also a good friend of mine. Um, and this is the car uh, that he drove in the Macau GT Cup last year. Uh, he actually qualified P1. Um, and then he finished the race one in P4 and then race two in P2. So this is limited only to 750 pieces. So it is pretty rare. Um, and he has agreed also to um, come out to our booth. Uh, either on uh, next Saturday or Sunday, we, we haven't uh, decided on the time yet or the date, but he will come to the booth uh, for the for a meet and greet with fans. So if you're around um, that we uh, that we can make sure you have this car ready for for um, for meeting uh, you know Edu 
at the booth uh, for a meet and greet uh, and to take pictures and, and sign his autograph. So um, we, I can't thank him enough. He's just a super kind uh, person, and I'm, I'm, I'm so thrilled that he has agreed to do this uh, with us. Next up is also a good friend, uh, Daryl Young, a Macau legend as well uh, from Hong Kong. Um, and this is his AMG GT3 Macau GT Cup 2022 by Craft Bamboo Racing. This is also limited only to 750 pieces. Um, he qualified in P7. Uh, unfortunately, there was a race at the start of race one. Um, and un a very, very unfortunate incident. And the, and the, um, the crash was too big and he couldn't actually... Um, get into race two, but he did qualify in P7. Um, and for the, again, for those who, who who was into Hong Kong racing and then into Macau racing, uh, of course, Darrow is is definitely a legend. Uh, again, it's limited only to 750 pieces. Last but not least, we have a more classic model, which is a Toyota Supra Turbo ME70. This was raced in Macau in 1989 and finished the race in P6. This is limited to 1,248 pieces. So all of these four cars will be available starting this Saturday at the booth and then of course next weekend as well starting next Thursday to Sunday. So that does it for the Macau GP 23 specials. And then we'll go into the November release, the first November release, which was released uh, this past Tuesday. And let's get right into it. Uh, the first one is a Global 64 Mazda RX-7 FT3S Mazda Speed A-Spec in black. Again, this was already released, uh, so if you haven't ordered yours uh, you can go into our uh, web store or of course our resellers will have these and uh, it will come in with a chase car as well as you as you see on the photo here next we have a Mercedes AMG F1 W11 EQ performance British Grand Prix 2020 winner with the winner board driven by Lewis Hamilton this is also part of the global 64 lineup. After that, we have a Hobby 64 RWB997 Philadelphia. This is in the red color. This is actually the first uh, regular release for the 997. We had one for the Fuel Fest, um, but this is the first uh, release, regular release, I mean, uh, for, the, for the 997 tooling. So it's, it's relatively new. And this is, I think, our fifth RWB, if I'm not mistaken. And then we have Audi, also an Audi R8 LMS GT3. This is the Macau GT Cup 2022 version. This is our Hello Kitty collab car for last year. So you'll see some similarities in terms of the design into this year. So this, I would say, the version 1.0. This year will be the version 2.0. Um, also autographed uh, version, uh, 100 pieces. 87 in silver uh, signature, 10 in gold. So if you get one of the gold ones, um, you're, you're only 10 of you. And then there are three that have the special message. Um, I hope that if you do get one of these autographed ones, please share it on social media. Uh, send it to us as well. Uh, we're gonna share it on our um, uh, you know IG story. Um, so I hope you 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 can share that joy and and happiness with us as well uh, as well as with your fellow collectors. So this is the Hello Kitty Timex 1.0 that was raced in Macau GT Cup last year. Next up is also a um, Tarmac Works Macau GD Cup car, and uh, this is the AMG GT3 2022 winner. We were uh, super fortunate 
um, to be able to work with Crop Bamboo Racing and with Mauro Engel, uh, again, one of the, uh, also another, another legend in Macau, um, and actually race uh, and actually won the race uh, last year. So, a gigantic moment for us, uh, for myself as well, just being a little kid who went to Macau to watch the race, uh, you know, n not thinking that our brand could be on the car and actually winning the race. It's, it's absolutely insane, um, but um, and this this uh, livery uh, was designed by our, our very good friend John Sabal. So thanks, John, for for a brilliant design. Um, couldn't be happier to 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 win the race with this awesome design on the car. So um, and this is the sixty four version, sixty four scale version um, of the, of this car. Next up, we have the Ferrari F forty. 24 Hours of Le Mans, 1995. Uh, very sort of Italian look to it. The red, green, and white. And then next is also an F40, but this is the F40 GT. And this is a Tomac Works Owners Club members only model. Only 1,200, 400, uh, 1,248, sorry, pieces produced and only available for our members so if you haven't joined you can join now uh, by purchasing the membership it comes with a card it comes with the datsun 510 bre um, and the membership comes with it is also discounted because there's only a, a couple months left in the membership so we've given a, a, a pretty nice discount there so if you haven't joined you can join and then on your second um, transaction then you can buy uh, this uh, members only model we do come up with uh, um, these members M MOM we call it MOM cars uh, every few months every three four months so uh, be sure to join this is one of the perks uh, benefits of the of the membership so um, hope that you can become a member uh, with, with us and then next up, we have two uh, 143 scales, same model as the 64. This is the Hello Kitty 1.0, Macau GT Cup 2022. This is the R8 LMS GT3. And then we have the next one, which is the AMG GT3, also the Macau GT Cup 22 winner car by driven by Mara Angle. Uh, these will come with a booklet, as you can see from the, from the photos highlighting um, the qualifying you know and, and the race results and a lot of really nice photos inside um, and and we tend to do this with the cars that we are sponsoring uh, and just to give an extra sort of uh, memory piece if you will uh, a story about this car that you, that you can learn about three more cars to go uh, the first one is the Shuko uh, Porsche 911 GT2 the number 30 car it also comes with a chase car as you can see and then after this is two Porsches that are made by mini champs um, special colors for us uh, Porsche 911 992 GT3 the first one is in crayon color is like a sort of like a, a, a gray nano gray if you will and then um, the Python green color as well both are limited to 1,200 pieces only, so be sure to uh, to grab these if you can. That does it for the November release, which was already released two days ago. Uh, so you can go to our website, uh, web store, as well as our resellers to, to order these uh, models that we just uh, talked about just now. So we and and then recently we've actually made a change in terms of our release schedule. So uh, we're doing uh, a release every three weeks, and so um, after this November release, we will have another November release in three weeks, which is in which will be on uh, November twenty eighth uh, for members and 29th for the public. Uh, again, these releases will be available, of course, in our in our web store as well as our resellers. So let's. Again, fly through these. Um, the first one is a new tooling. Um, it's a Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR KP GC10. 
in the very iconic silver color. Uh, brand new tooling and part of the Global 64 uh, lineup as well. Following that is also an, a JDM, is a Vertex Toyota Mark II JZX100 in a dark green and gray kind of two-tone, very vintage look. I, I love this color. Uh, this is again the Toyota Mark II. Relatively new tooling, but uh, this is uh, another new co color version. Following that is also a sedan, it, which is the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA in red and white livery. Has a snake logo in, in the middle. Uh, this is again the Alfa Romeo Giulia GTA. Uh, we do have the GTA M version uh, with this tooling, uh, but you can the, the the easiest way to spot these is is the rear wing. For the GTA is a, is a smaller rear wing, and the GTA M is is a much larger rear wing. So this is the GTA version. A quick reminder: we do have a giveaway today. I forgot to mention that, but uh, it will be all the way to the end. So. Be a lookout. Stay, stay on with us, and then we'll we'll re, we'll review the question, um, and then what what the what the what the prizes are as well at, at the very end. So uh, we'll do that. Um, moving on is the Renault Five Turbo in red. This is also a new tooling. Um, this is the Road sixty four version. Another Road 64 is the Mitsubishi Starion in silver and dark red. Love the um, the interior color, the kind of maroon. And again, a, two, a very two tone, very classic 80s kind of kind of look to it. Um, for those who know me, uh, the Starion is one of my favorite favorite cars of all time. Uh, so really happy that we're doing this uh, version. Next we have a few Hobby 64 cars and the first one is the Nismo, a Nissan GTR Nismo GT3 that raced in the Super Taikyo series in 2021 and it's the Fuji 24 Hours 21 winner. This is the GT Net Motorsports uh, number 81 version. Following that is a Pandem RX-7 FC3S. They use this for drifting. Um, it's, a, it's a very uh, iconic um, livery for this particular tooling. And really loving the, the red uh, rims on this car as well. Following that is a Ferrari 458 Italia GT3 Bathurst 12 hours. This is the IDE Special Edition Indonesia Diecast Expo. Um, of course, with a very famous uh, McDonald's uh, livery on the car as well. Next, we have a Pit Garage Diorama. In the this is the Honda Racing version. It doesn't come with the car, so it's only the diorama um, itself, the Pit Garage, as we wanted to keep the retail price uh, a bit lower. Uh, so the car is gonna come separately. It goes well with any Honda cars um, from our brand or other brands. Uh, so for all the Honda fans out there, this is kind of a must-have, I think. Following that is a Hobby 43 scale, 143 scale Penham Toyota Yaris in the Advan livery. This is the wide body GI Yaris, as you can see here. And again, this is the 143 scale.
Next up, we have the Mini Champs Porsche 911 992 GT3 RS in white and green, as well as Signal Yellow. Uh, relatively new tooling from Mini Champs for this year. A fantastic looking car, obviously. Um, and two, yeah, two different, very two different, uh, two very different colorways to choose from here. And this is again the GT3 RS for the 992. That does it for the November release. Very busy November, as you can see. Um, and then we'll go into the pre-orders. Uh, so let me uh, also kind of fly through these. I, I know there's a lot of cars to, to be covered here today. Um, the first pre-order is today, November 9th, Thursday. So uh, we just sent these out to the resellers. You, you should be seeing them relatively uh, soon on social media if you haven't yet. So let's walk through these. Um, three global cars. The first one is the Mercedes SLS AMG Coupe Black Series. And this is a collab with Shimi 150. And you can see the license plate with Shimi there. Um, we, it took us a, quite a long time to actually get this color right. Um, and, and of course we work with uh, the guys at Shimi um, and, and, and to, to just make sure that we, we get as close as the directory color, if not the same. Um, but uh, yeah, it took some time, but it was finally here. Very popular uh, AMG car for us. And this is again the SLS uh, Coupe Black Series. Next up, we have a Julia GTAM. And as I, I mentioned before, the GTAM has the much larger wing. And this is the in the sort of classic metallic red color um, and with the yellow in the front and the number 13 on the side giving it a more racy look this is an I think of official um, uh, livery or option that you can get with the GDAM next up we have a RX-7 Very classic livery. Um, I believe they use this for drifting. Um, this is also part of the global line. And these cars are uh, targeted for April 2024 release. So you can pre-order these. Uh, contact our resellers to, re uh, to, to order these. If you don't know where the resellers are, you can always go to our Where to Buy um, page on our website or just simply do a, a search on Google um, type in your city or country and then Tarmac Works and those should come up in the Google search next we have two J collection cars the first one is a Nissan Silvia S13 a very classic look to this uh, a very classic um, Again, a two-tone, sort of very vintage look to it, blue and gray. This is the J Collection. Um, if you're new to this J Collection 64, we have we have already sort of uh, pre-ordered the uh, two other models, which is the NSX and the um, AE86 Torino. And um, these all come with, you know, roll, the, the wheels do roll. Um, th there is some details to the interior. Um, uh, and, and the retail price of $9.90 US, so it's under $10. Uh, it also has a chase car, so all of these really nice features um, and, a, and a very affordable uh, price tag for, for a pretty detailed uh, 64 scale model. So this is the Sylvia S13, and then the next one is also a Nissan, well, is a Datsun Bluebird 510. This is the four door version of the 510. Very classic red color. And this is also, of course, uh, part of the J Collection 64 lineup. Last but not least, 
is a Shuko Porsche 911 GT2 in white with the STP uh, 74 livery. Just gonna let it spin for a little bit. Very classic, iconic livery for this GT2. Again, all of these are, uh, the, the pre-order information has been released today. So normally there's two weeks of pre-ordering period and they are targeted to be released in April 2024. And let's move on to the um, pre-order number two, which will be November 23rd. So in a couple weeks, will be a, another Mark II. This is the in the white metallic two-tone, um, and it's a Lamley uh, special edition. So we're working with Lamley on this one. Just going to let it spin for a little bit. Again, very classic uh, two-tone color for this uh, Toyota Mark II in the Vertex kit. Next up, we have a Dodge Viper ACR Extreme in silver with the uh, black and red stripes in the middle. This is, again, the Global 64 lineup. Dodge Viper ACR Extreme in silver metallic. Next one is uh, is one that a lot of people have been asking. Uh, is a Road 64 clean color F40 LM. It's still in the racing spec, but in in a, in a yellow, very classic Ferrari yellow. So like a test car, if you will. This is the Ferrari F40, and this is the LM version of the F40. Following that is a brand new collaboration with Student Driver. Student Driver, if you don't know, or if you do know, is a, uh, a brand created by Daniel Wu and Song Kang from Fast and Furious. And this is the RWB 993 Rough Rhythm Fuel Fest version. And you have the Student Driver logo in on the sides. We have done this Rough Rhythm, uh, the screen Rough Rhythm, if you recall, some years ago. Um, but this is a different version of it. Uh, so, And also Song has signed 100 base plates, all signed by him. Again, randomly placed. So if you want a Sung Kang autograph, uh, you, you, you better get a few of these uh, to uh, hopefully increase your chances because there's only 100 of them. Uh, we'll show more pictures of those uh, signatures and things um, on, on post uh, uh, later on. But again, 100, only 100 pieces are signed by him. Randomly placed into... Uh, the, the order uh, the, the factory line and so uh, hope you get it if you do get it share it uh, with us share it on social media so that we can celebrate it with you can't wait um, and thank and a huge thanks to the guys at student driver uh, for working with us on on this model um, and we actually have a bunch of uh, student driver models that will they will be coming out throughout the year for next year as well um, and again, a huge shout, shout out to the guys as student driver, Song, uh, Daniel, and um, Brandon as well from the student driver team. Two more to go in, the, in, in, the, in this November 23rd uh, pre-order. Renault 5 Turbo in this uh, very classic, of course, Marlboro uh, livery. All of these are uh, uh, projected for uh, April 2024 release. And this was driven by Alan Prost um, in 1982 in the Valley, uh, the Rally de Var. Very, very classic, iconic livery, of course. And then one. Uh, 
tooling that we haven't seen for a little while, which is the Volvo 850 Estate. This is the Australian Super Touring Championship 1995 version, driven by Tony Scott. Again, one of those very classic, legendary uh, wagons that that is, that, is, that is placed on the racetrack, which I think is, is amazing and awesome. So uh, this is another version of it. Again, this is the November pre-order number two uh, to be sent out on the 23rd of this month. That does it with all the releases and pre-orders, and then we'll get to... The last two parts, which is the sneak peek. And we have a Formula One car for you, which is the Mercedes AMG F1 W14. This is the version that is racing this year. And this is the B version, uh, uh, which was updated uh, in the Monaco GP um, without the side pods. So we're going with the B version, the updated version. Mercedes AMG F1 W14. And if you recall, um, we have done the W11, 12, and 13. And this is a continuation of it, which is the W14 racing in this particular season. And this is the 3D printing sample of the W14. Let's go to the giveaway, which uh, we prepared two really nice um, giveaway uh, prizes for you. We've been giving out, you know, um, different things like oil cans and this and that. But um, these two are ultra rare because they are kind of one of ones, right? So um, we have 3D samples. So what, what we do in the development process is once the 3D is done, uh, uh, and we're happy with it. We we go to the you know the the three uh, D printing companies and we actually have them three D printed for us so that we can look at it. We can see the size, the scaling, uh, the assembly as well. So these are all assembled by our guys in the production team by hand, basically, uh, um, almost like a Tamiya kit, a model kit, and so um, very carefully assembled. And uh, we have two pieces for you today uh, the first one is a Mercedes AMG G63 and the second is the Dodge Viper ACR uh, both are 3d printed samples basically they are one of one pieces and we're giving it away to you all um, big question mark is how do you get it right so here comes the question as soon as the question is finished you can um, you can start uh, sending us a DM um, and the question is what is Tarmac Works first ever car made and in which scale so it's like a two-parter question name that car what that car model is and in what scale yeah so you have to get both of this this right and the first two people to send us the right answer will get those two one of one pieces uh, we'll send them to you if you like me to sign it I'll sign it uh, uh, I don't know if you want to but uh, I'm happy to but uh, anyways um, just two very rare pieces from the production team um, uh, they don't want to let go of it so I had to convince them but they were they were uh, uh, they were finally convinced to let it go uh, to to um, to your hands so I hope you, you do win it if you do win it uh, uh, share that photo with, uh, with your fellow collectors as well um, so huge thank you uh, again for joining this very long IG live lots of cars that we went kind of went through um, and we're gonna go to q i I'll, I'll just take a look again post the photo on a DM don't post it on the don't answer the photo uh, I mean the 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 questions to the giveaway on on the comments here send us a DM uh, this is how uh, you're gonna uh, get get the prize uh, because that's the only way we'll have the, the the record on on hand so send it send it over on DM 
Um, Q and A. The first one is a, a Koenigsegg update, right? So um, the first sample, we'll show it on the next IG Live uh, next month, which December, I guess. Uh, so those will be ready pretty soon. Um, the second question we got was the Renault 5 Turbo, the Rally, the Marlboro one. Uh, the deco is included in the car, so uh, underneath the base plate, so you can you can stick them on uh, on your own because it is a tobacco uh, brand, so we cannot put it on the car um, on the product. Um, and but we'll we'll, we'll have those uh, deco uh, included um, in 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 the product. Once again, please uh, send the answer for the giveaway on a private message to the Tarmac Works uh, account, not to post it here, um, because those are the ones that we will check. Any progress on the Saab release date? Um, it's, it's, it's being uh, developed. Uh, we showed the uh, 3D sample in, in the... Um, in the Toy Car Salon in Hong Kong, uh, so the next step is to make the tooling, and then it will, it will you know, step by step, uh, we'll get get that done, and then, um, you know, we'll be, we'll be showing once the tooling is done, then it will go to the decorated sample, which is the painted version. So we'll get those done, um, but no no exact dates yet uh, on those. What else? What else? What else? I'm just I'm just scrolling uh, through some of the questions. Again, huge thanks for joining us um, for for this IG live. I think we had like a, uh, over 100, 130 people at the same time. I didn't I didn't see the exact number, but um, huge thanks for joining as always. Um, just going through a few more questions. A lot of questions about Saab. Glad you guys are excited. For those, I think that's it. Um, again, so huge thanks uh, for everybody who who is who, who joins. Uh, do look out for those ad hoc um, IG lives. Uh, uh, we'll do one that is like like a chat basically uh, of me, and then uh, I hope to do an IG live also in Macau next week, maybe Friday, Saturday. Sunday, I don't know. Uh, we'll we'll see which which one, um, which is the best date to do it. But do look out for um, the Instagram notifications on your phone uh, for the next IG live. So we'll 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 come in uh, when we're ready and uh, uh, just do some ad hoc ones with you. Uh, that those should be fun. I'm I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, to have a very organic chat and then also to show you. Uh, what's going on in Macau to show you uh, uh, up front and, and close and personal with the uh, Audi R8 uh, LMS Hello Kitty car. Uh, looking forward to that. I hope I can get to sit inside and actually show you the inside of the car, which I think would be fun. Uh, I don't think they'll let me drive it, but uh, sitting inside should be not a, should not be a problem. But uh, anyways, huge thanks for again for joining us, and uh, we'll be seeing you very very soon. Hopefully next week. Um, and um, have a great day or night wherever you are and uh, thanks again and we'll see you soon